Hey guys, Loda Tech here. So today we got another product in today. Is this the Vixing video projector? So this does 6,000 lumens of output and also is 1080p and has a couple of HDMI ports on there. And another cool thing is this does up to 36 to 116 inches. So let's just take a look at it. Here's the box right here. So, you know, it's the same thing on both sides. So I think everything's in here. So let's just unpackage this. All right, so pretty good presentation. You got this bag right here. Just pull it out. A pretty nice bag. Feels like those, you know, those laptop bags you usually get, something like that. So let's just look into it and we'll open it up. All right. Okay, so you got a shoulder bag, shoulder pad for this, so you carry it on your shoulder when you're taking it around. A couple of manuals. You got a cleaning cloth right here. I believe this goes inside. And you also got a 24 month warranty. So that's pretty cool. So then you got everything right here. So let me remove all this right here. So we got a bunch of cables in here. I believe there might be an HDMI cable. Yep, there is. You got the power cord and you got the remote itself as well. And let's dig into the actual product we're looking at. This will be the projector itself. So it's gonna be in this plastic bag right here pull it out okay so you got this right here put it aside then you got this i believe it's the tripod stand so this lets you you know adjust it so you can put it on it and move it around we'll put all this together i'll show you guys how it looks like just put this back in all right we'll take a look at all this right here all right guys so i have everything hooked up as you can see i'm using the stand right here i adjusted it so it matches my wall you got a bunch of power buttons here you know you have the play pause source input and the uh, i believe this is the rotation button the pause and you also got the inputs right in the back right there and you got actually you know it's on the side you got a couple of these usb to view media then you got a usb c port i believe so you connect your phone to it any android phone i believe you could cast over it and then on the side you got the power cord and what i forgot to mention this one actually has wi-fi built in so you could actually apple airplay or you could actually cast your android phone if you wanted to so let's turn it on and see how it looks so here's the remote right here it's pretty small basic and simple i'm going to press start you got to press twice and it's going to start up so as it's starting up you're going to see a loading logo right here it's the brand right here and we should pop into the menu any second now. Cap, not open bluetooth sound the box so the Bluetooth is all connected, everything's set up. And I'm gonna show you something that one of the other buttons does. So you have this button on the back right here. I mean, this adjuster button. So you basically slide it to adjust the angle of it. So if you want it to tilt upwards, tilt like, you know, it doesn't tilt downwards, only goes upwards. So that's the only thing you can do. And another thing would be the focus adjustment. So you just slide this up and down to make sure everything looks clean and clear. And another thing I'll mention is like, you see that vacuum over there? I will do a review on it. You know, I have some content coming up in the channel, but let's just focus on this for now. So I'm gonna turn off the lights because that's usually recommended for projectors. And I'll show you a demo YouTube video so you guys can see how it looks and how it interacts and all that. And later on, I might hook up my Nintendo Switch to it and I'll show you how games look on it and how they work. All right, as you guys can see, I have everything hooked up and it looks pretty clear. I adjust the focus and everything like that. And you can see you have all the settings right here. You got settings such as Android, so that'll be Miracast. You can actually connect your laptop, I believe, since it's Miracast, like the Windows 10 laptops. You also have iOS AirPlay, so you can do your MacBooks, iPads, Apple, uh, like iPhones, stuff like that. Anything Apple products that has the cast functionality. You can also do Bluetooth. I believe this is for just the audio, so you could use it as a portable speaker. Well, not really portable, but it is quite small. So then you got the settings. So this is basically simple. You know, you got the picture mode stuff like that then you got the options osd basically the menu the brightness then you got the timer no signal shutdown stuff like that eco mode then you got the sound mode i actually turned on the surround sound so it does sound a little better and yeah that's pretty much all we got right here it's a couple of really good features you know for the price you're getting something really good here so we're gonna head back to the menu and we'll check out the ios um airplay feature so pretty much you know you just click on it then you'd have to set up your wi-fi and I already did that. So what I'm going to do is just going to go onto my iPad right here. And this is the iPad Air 4. I do have a review on my channel along with budget accessories. It's more student oriented. So you guys get the best features. And But as you can see, the Touch ID sensor isn't really the best. 
which I didn't notice during my review, but I'm just gonna tell you guys right now. But if you want more details, just check it out on my YouTube channel. You know, I got more info and a lot of budget accessories that are pretty cool. So we're gonna head on over here. So it's gonna, it does take a while, like a few seconds, and then you should be good. So we'll just head on to YouTube, do the audio testing first. But as you can see, it disconnected once again. So it is a little finicky, but it does work once like, you know, the second try or something like that. So let's just let it connect up. It's connecting again. And we should be good to go. It did take a little longer than it should. So we'll just test the audio first. So we'll just go with NCS music right here. And it's at 18 volume, I believe. So let's put up the volume. So this is 20 out of 20. And I'll put it up. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. And the audio is actually pretty clear in this too. And the video actually looks good as well. And as I mentioned, you can go up to 116 inches. However, you have to reduce the size. Yeah, as you guys can hear, it's really good. So we could go into another video. We'll check out another one. So I'll just pause this right here. We'll do All Around the World in 4K, one of my favorites. So they have really good videos on there. And we'll do the show reel because that's pretty nice and it looks really good. Let's go on over here. So let's go into the... All right, I can't seem to find it. So we'll just do the New York one then. Play that. Order yourself a necker now, you'll get $399 worth of accessories. Right, let's go through it, skip it. This so is what you're looking at. As you can see, the quality is really impressive. Let me show you some darker scenes to get a better idea. So, so a scene like this. So the darks aren't going to be like, you know, the darkest because this is a projector after all, but it does a pretty good job with the contrast and everything like that. There's everything. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty neat. And so now we're going to test out like a gaming console. So I'll switch over to my Nintendo Switch and show you guys how it looks like so you get an even better idea. I believe it does look better on the physical connection compared to wireless. So let's check that out. All right, as you guys can see, I already connected up my Nintendo Switch. And a cool thing is it's actually um, 1080p at 60 hertz. So realistically, you could even play some PC games on it. Even like connect up your PS4 and all that. You might not get the fast refresh rate. But you know, 60 hertz is still good enough for a lot of the games you could play on this. Even like some competitive games like Call of Duty Warzone. So you can see everything looks good. The audio's there. So we'll just check out some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And see how it looks and everything. So we're just going to boot up the game. Let me press play right here. There you go. And I'll switch over to my profile. Alright. So yeah. As you can see the contrast levels are pretty good. This is a normally completely black screen. And this is what you're looking at right here. Mario Kart 8! As you can see the audio is pretty good. Let's put the volume down a little. What you're looking at. So we're just gonna press L and R. I'll show you guys how it is. So we'll just go over some single player, I guess. Let's just do online play. Right. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting this is not like a PlayStation. I keep clicking the other button, but that's how it should be. So it's connecting up. Just do worldwide versus race. Right, let's just. Okay, so searching for players. But you can see, like, it looks pretty good. It's just I, got, I wanted to show you guys the gaming performance so you can see how it looks with games and all that. So we just have to vote here. Go with the subway. Now, actually, let's do DS, one of my favorite uh, maps back in the day. I'm quite impressed by the performances. As you know, like for this price, I was expecting it to be a lot worse. But what you're getting is a really good value product here. Right, so the subway it is.
And there you go. So keep in mind, I am doing this one-handed, so this is gonna be a little bad, but realistically, this is how the performance should be. So what you're looking at right here. And you guys can see, it's actually pretty good performance out of this. And if you see the movements and all that, I'll just keep on driving. But if you see the movements, this is what you're looking at. Let me just, but as you can see, it's actually quite difficult to do it one-handed, but I hope you guys get the idea. So this is how I'm like, there you go. That's what you're looking at. But you can see like everything runs pretty smooth on this game. But missed that red shell, just dodged it. But yeah, that's what you're looking at right here. All right, got that rocket. I'm actually doing pretty good for playing this one-handed actually, to be honest. Actually, no, nah, it's doing pretty bad, but, you know, as you guys can see, it's really clear and everything like that. There we go, we got the rocket again. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, this device is a lot of, like, fun to use. You know, you got a lot of stuff you could do with it, pretty much. But let me see if I could mute this somehow, but this is what you're looking at. All right, so sorry about that. I guess someone turned off my smart switch here, so I have it hooked up. You know, if you guys want, I could also do a review on stuff like that. Just let me know in the comments. But yeah, that turned off, unfortunately, so I couldn't really, my whole room basically went pitch black. But you know, overall, let me just give you guys the thoughts on this projector for 130 bucks at the time of this video. I think this is a really good deal. You're getting so much with it. You got the HDMI cords, even USB-C, which is quite rare. You don't get the audio connection, so you hook up something like a soundbar right here or something like that. And you know, overall, like the brightness, even when it's lit up, you know, it's not that bad. It is doable. So you can even use this outdoors realistically. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, let me know any feedback on how I can improve this video. Although I, I don't have anyone helping me out. Usually it'll be my friends, but due to COVID, you know how it is. So I'm doing everything one-handed. So keep in mind, my videos might not look the best, but you know, I'm trying my best to give you guys the best content. I hope you guys stay safe, enjoy the rest of your day, and please subscribe to this channel, leave a like, and also, as I mentioned before, just leave a comment, you know, some feedback would help out a lot.